Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this is a video to check the um, EasyCap 284 to see if the video uh, can be captured from the component video. That's the three wires for video instead of just the yellow wire in, um, in the uh, composite video. So component video, composite video is a little bit different. Uh, the component has the three wires to it. I don't know any of the technical details, except for I think that more wires trying to get the video output to the recording device is probably a good idea. Uh, so with that, this is just a short video. I'm testing the EasyCap 284 uh, product, and uh, I would like to see uh, if it does a very good job on, um, on capturing a video. Now part of that is uh, some selections I had to make in my camera for uh, what signal I'm sending out. So I went through um, a number of settings, and what I ended up with, I'm looking at the monitor at the side of the screen here, which has some of that information on it, and it's uh, HDV 30 uh, frames per second. However, it's it's still 1080i. Uh, it's not it's not a 1080p. I'm recording 1080p. Actually, I'm recording 720p. But then I'm going to put it in my computer and up convert that to uh, being full screen and 1080p. I'm going to render that out and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And I want to see, I'll make this one public, because I want to see what it looks like. And then on the back end of this, I'll go through a um, kind of a longer video on exactly how I set this up and exactly what I'm trying to accomplish with it. But if these videos look good enough, well, this camera is set up all the time in my office. So all I have to do is uh, jump up, turn the thing on, capture to a USB stick, put the USB stick in my thumb, uh, the thumb drive over in my computer, and uh, bang out a video real fast. So that's, that's a very nice thing to be able to do. And... Um, the easy cap, which is sitting right here below the camera, doesn't require to be connected up to a computer. You don't have to hook it up to a computer to use it, um, and ever. You never need to hook it up to your computer at all. And I'm using a thumb drive, a USB thumb drive, uh, which has, and, and the unit has to be powered, and it's powered by USB as well, but not the thumb drive, of course. Um, it has a uh, kind of a wall wart plug that you plug in and it has a USB cable that plugs into the power cord, which I'm looking directly at, and, um, and that's what powers the little unit. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. It's very light, and uh, if it does a good job, then that's going to be a fantastic tool uh, for me to be able to use it. On uh, any videos where I would need a higher resolution or higher definition, and the motion blur wouldn't matter so much, uh, or, or would matter so much, then I, I would have to use uh, my digital camera, and I could still instead of recording to an internal card, I could record here because it seems very, very simple for me to use a USB thumb drive, uh, pop it out of this, uh, it's just sticks in the side of the unit, and then pop it into my laptop and bang out a video. It's, it seems to be a very efficient, a very effective tool, and I'd like to be able to uh, maximize my use of it if possible. So with that, we'll take care and we'll see you in the next video.